fill up in a hood. Huh. Ask about me, boy, I'm good. Look, homie just threw me a pack. Yo, 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 what's up, guys? It's RP here, and in today's video, I'll show you guys how to make that amazing motion blur. I know that a bunch of you guys wanted this tutorial because in my latest montage, you see this effect. You basically don't need any plans for the motion blur. And drop a like, drop a sub, and see you guys in the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is to look up the clip with the music and time map the clip. Hopefully, you guys know how to do that because I've already done that. Then you need to find your shot of impact, so first when you see the numbers appear, for me it's right here, press Ctrl B to split the clip right there, then go to where you want the motion blur to start, I think I want it to start somewhere here, press Ctrl B to split it, then the clip we created in the middle, hold out and drag the upper layer, so we basically create the copy, then uh, on this copy, hover over it, go to the fusion tab, inside of here press on the medium one, press Ctrl space, and search up for the curl flow, uh, press out if it doesn't appear directly, just do it many times. Uh, then press on the optical flow, press control space again, and so shop vector uh, motion blur. Just press on that, press add, and then the only thing you basically need to play around with it in the vector is the scale. Drag it up how much you feel. You can drag it up very much or very little. I every group is different, so I can't really uh, give you an exact value. But basically, play around with the scale and in the optical flow, I don't really recommend you play with anything besides the smoothness. The smoothness is basically drag down. I usually recommend drag down, not up, never up. Maximum a value of 10 or less. But basically, an 8 is usually good. Yeah, uh, go back to edit tab and basically just one thing less to do. On the copy, if you have a cross over it, you should see two rectangular things in the corners. Take the one tool vector and drag it to the right, like this. And that will basically just create a fade in. And as you see, guys, I see that it is way too blurry, so I will go into Fusion and drag down the vector a bit. So, it's, so it is like less like painted and washed up. But this is just a tutorial, so I recommend that you play around more. But now how to do the effect impact is go to effect, drag in the adjustment clip, make it to start on the shot of impact. A uh, good fusion tab and inscription in a good drive folder. Basically, download the preset and uh, just drag it and drop it and connect it real quick. It's basically just blue little mice. Uh, impact, right click, print cache. It will be super laggy, but that's basically it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, dropping a sub. Yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.